What's going on, y'all? So let's What's going on, y'all? So, we are back again for another These Niggas Wildin', okay? That's what this episode should have been called, These Niggas Wildin'. All right, this is episode Black Ink Crew, um, season five. Black Ink Crew, Chicago, season five, episode seven. Potato with a scarf on, okay? The reason why it's called Potato with a scarf on, the crew went, well, Bella and her daughter, you know, um, Ben and Charmaine and Ryan, Don, whatever, they went ice skating, and, you know, they said Ben looked like a potato with a scarf on and all that shit or whatever. You know, it was cute. That was a fun little part. You know, when Don was in the confessionals making fun of Ryan, talking about something, Nick grew his hair out. Now he talking like he on the, you know, he doing shit like he on the cover of a romance novel and shit like that with his hair and all that stuff, ice skating and shit. You know, whatever. They was having a, a, a nice time out there. So that was one of the fun parts of the episode. But bitch, bitch, Junior back. Okay, Junior back, and Junior is just, I don't know. I was sitting here like, is it just me? But is Junior doing a lot? Ever since the Jamaica trip, Junior has been doing a lot. Like, when Junior first came on this show, Junior was not this turned up, okay? Junior was not all about, yeah, boy, this me, boy. Come get at me. What you gonna do, homeboy? What you gonna do? He was not about that. Junior was the one that was neutral and keeping the peace somewhat, okay? He just stayed out of stuff. Junior starting stuff and everything. And I'm just sitting here like, damn, Junior, what's going on, okay? So, at this point, you know, um, he back in the shop. I'm not finna go over every little small detail or whatever. You know, Charmaine talking about the whole thing at Vegas. Junior at this other, uh, uh, bar or whatever. And he with his friend. And he talking about how Adriana, she ain't, is her name Adriana or Adrian? Bitch, A. Hey. How, um, Pretty Little Lights, A. Hey. Okay, how, um, who the fuck was A? Hey? I never finished that. Are y'all watching Pretty Little Lights, uh, the, uh, other little spinoff? <sighs> Don't even get me started. Um, moving on from that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, his girlfriend ain't fucking with him. You know, he ain't been sleeping at the crib, whatever. You know, he all up on the pool table. He all up on the bar and shit like that. Dude had to tell him to sit his ass down. Okay, get down, get down. The the white lady and the white man that was on his phone and the white lady, the blind one that was sitting there looking like... You know she was thinking this is why Trump said build a wall. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me fucking stop. Because they kept on putting the camera back on there. I know it's editing because she was doing the same facial expression that a man was on the phone the, the, the whole time. You know, talking about his little issues with Adriana or with A. Bitch, is Adriana or Adriana? I'm going to call her Adriana. I feel like it's Adriana. Y'all will correct me in the uh, comments, whatever. But with her. But then she finally pops up and they talk it out. And, you know, she was like... Something about Lily, like, why would this bitch lie? You know, you up here, you got this bitch up here talking about how she, you talking about some you was in love with her. You never love that bitch. You never love that bitch. Now, last week, she said that, ha, 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 you know, she got the prize, which was Junior. I said, now, really, is that a prize, okay? Because Junior is spiraling, all right? And I just don't understand what's going on, bitch. So, at this point, he was trying to, like, sidestep the comment without having to answer it. You know, the question, do you, did you love her, whatever. No, I never love that bitch, okay? And I never will. I said, oh, bitch, because I recall differently. Because I'm pretty sure on we got footage from the season when y'all was going together that y'all was really clinked up like that, okay? But, all right, you know, if that's what you say, footage probably say otherwise, but all right. And, um, she was like, all right, whatever. And they going to the bathroom. He like, go come back and give me a kiss and, you know, take me back. Oh, you look so damn sexy. And I'm finna go fuck you in the bathroom. Then they showed them two white people again. And see, they, they, they added their asses in again. They was just sitting there like, bitch, no lie. I would have been doing the same thing. Bitch, I'm finna get a show and I'm judging at the same time. Like, see... You can't take motherfuckers nowhere. It ain't even that rowdy for all that. We having a calm fucking thing, trying to come here, get a little dranky drink, and you up here just, ugh, being all loud and nasty. You couldn't even take her to the girls' bathroom, bitch. You couldn't even take her to the car. You gonna go into the dirty-ass men bathroom and fuck her in there on script? You know, you gonna do that? That would have been me. That would have been me, okay? It is what it is. But then I would have been like, you know what? I don't know y'all issues. Go ahead and get your fuck on. Just make sure you clean up afterwards. I ain't judging, but I'm judging. 
You look like you stink. <sighs> okay. Moving on from that. Um, Charmaine is on the radio. She giving a little interview with Erica Mina. Erica Mina, um, you know, every time I see Erica Mina, all I can think of when uh Sin Santana was cussing her ass out and really cussed her ass out when it was going together on uh Love and Hip Hop. I kinda wish they get back together, but you know, what if they have a quad what what is the foursome? A polyamorous relationship. No, that wouldn't work because Joe and Savari, I just don't see them touching dicks like that. But anyway, moving on from that, um when uh Sin be like Araka, Araka. <laughs> it gets me every time. That was the best. I don't give a fuck. She was at her best when she was with Sin, okay? Girl, whatever. Erica, the type of crazy I like. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. The bitch full of shit, but she the type of crazy I like. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, Now you know, okay? Uh, Judge all you want, but don't judge, okay? Moving on, she celebrating her birthday out here in Chicago. I said, why you come to Chicago in the dead of winter to celebrate? Okay, I mean, if that's what you want to do, go ahead, do what you got to do. Um, You know, and she up at the radio station talking to Charmaine. They talking about what happened with her previous relationship that was before Safari. And, you know, the cops being called. I said, damn, Charmaine, you putting out government. You putting out um nicknames. You putting out street names. Y'all put up mug shots and everything. I said, oh, y'all ain't even blur his face. Y'all ain't blur his line his mouth um his name or whatever y'all just put it all out there because you know next thing you know it's probably gonna be some insta war going on again just keep your eye on instagram because i'm pretty sure some shit gonna probably pop up you know whatever because they was arguing back and forth a few days ago about who got who clothes and you know trying to sell off hoop stuff and all this shit girl it was just mess um but you know, she talked about that. Charmaine suggested that she get a tattoo from Ryan. And actually, she said Ryan first, you know, because she, according to Ryan, this ain't no celebrity get down because she already, he already knew uh, Eric Mina for a minute. So they do get the tattoo. And she was like, you know, because I've been through so much and, you know, I want to come out on the other side stronger. And it's like, you know, just show that power and that strength. So I just need a tattoo that reflects that. And so, I'm thinking, you know, the way that they try, and then, you know, of course, Ryan got to give his little side talk and all that stuff. I'm thinking they finna get something deep or whatever. Bitch, all he did was tattoo strong on her ass. On the side of her ass cheek. On her hip. I was sitting here like, she was like, let me see, let me see. Oh my God, I love that. It is legendary. Oh my, I said, bitch, what? <laughs> it just say strong, scribble this cursor bitch do y'all write cursor the kids don't have to write cursive no more i feel some type of way i feel some type of way because we had to struggle through that shit okay till this day i still can't get my um uh, s's and shit right bitch fuck y'all okay anyway moving on from that you know <laughs> it's so legendary it's cute i love it she did that shit like he did a whole ass half a sleeve on her goddamn thigh you know covered the whole thing up and put something very exquisite and exuberant on her shit bitch but all right you know you gotta appreciate the work when the work is being done probably for free anyway so hey it is what it is moving on from that um what else is going on in this episode that's worth talking about um, they want to have a friend's Thanksgiving, okay? A friend's giving. You know, four, he's doing a little bit better. Um, he's down there in Atlanta with Don and his mom. Um, they they have the same mothers um, and their sister. And, um, you know, just getting his hair right. And someone tries to debate me in the comments on the Instagram post or whatever, talking about, oh, well, he should do this and he should do that. And they never said that he was... Uh, medically diagnosed with di uh, d d d depression or never implied that they went to a doctor and got him medically diagnosed with a di uh, depression. Um, and they never said that he was on medication about it. But what they did say in this episode was that he is seeking out to get therapy. And that's what he should do. That's At least he's taking a step, okay? Um, somebody did put and made a good point... <clears throat> In the comments last week, when they said something about when Ford was going through his little episode, especially talking about having these suicidal thoughts and things of that much, um, why didn't they call, like, put him, call a hospital or something like that and put him on a, you know, sh shouldn't they put him on a 5150 hole or something like that, a suicide watch or, you know, hold him for 72 hours or something like that. 
I mean, that was a good point. I, I I can see where they're coming from because I have heard of people doing that. And I feel like they probably should have, but, you know, it wasn't on script for them. You know, they, they, they already went a little bit off script, so they weren't trying to go that far off script. But, hey, you know, um, moving on from that. Um, this whole scene with Van and his daughter. Now, let's, this is the first thing in the episode that I got questions and I want to pose it to you guys, okay? Do you feel that, okay, so Van and his daughter, you know, they having a little dinner or whatever. And he want to talk to her about the fact that he FaceTimed her one day and this dude was in the background. She in the car or whatever. And the dude get on the FaceTime was like, who are you? I ain't never know you. This her little boyfriend or whatever come to find out. Little man is 19 years old. The girl just turned 17. And, you know, the daddy is like... The well, what all all he want is one thing, you know, the hormones jumping out of control, you know, seventeen years old, he a creep and all that shit. Um, do you feel like the two year age difference is a much, or do you feel like it's okay? Okay, because technically speaking, unless they're in high school and one is either seventeen or eighteen. People do that, okay? I, I Now, I can see the big... I can understand where he's coming from because he's a parent. And I think as a parent, I probably would have had a little bit of issue to it, especially if my child just turned 17. But, you know, as a... If it was something like she would have said he was 21 or 20 or something like that, then I would be like, what the fuck you doing with somebody that's out of high school and you still in high school... Um, like he a couple of years out of high school, about to graduate from college if he went and you ain't even step foot, bitch. You ain't even graduate nothing yet. So, you know, I have an issue then. Do you feel like Van, um, you know, overreacted to the age thing or do you feel where he coming from and what's your age limit? Like, are you okay with your child or somebody that you know that's like a, a, a certain age dating, a teen dating somebody a couple of years older than them? You know, put that down in the comments. Let's be respectful. I just want to see y'all thoughts. You know, no judgment. You know, there's no wrong answer. So put it down in the comments, you know. Let's interact. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, she was like, okay, well, when you coming at me, bitch, what you do to Jen? Okay, because you know me and her talk, okay? So what you do? I already know. I already know what you always do. He was like, I mean, I cheated. See, I already knew that. I already knew that. Why you can't get your shit together? You know what? I'm sitting here trying to tell um this little girl about herself. But yeah, I'm sitting here and I'm fucked around. So who am I to tell her what she can't do with? I said, first of all, bird! I understand what type of flow thought that you're going through. But don't even finish that sentence. Who am I to tell her, you know, about a relationship when he didn't did what he did? That's understandable. But you still the parent, okay? Therefore, you still gonna tell her what the fuck it is that it's supposed to be, bitch. That's why, all right? I don't give a fuck if you didn't kill somebody. You gonna still tell that child, bitch, you ain't supposed to be out here doing this shit, okay? Just because I did it, don't mean that you gotta go do it. Don't look at me as an example. Listen to my words. Don't look at my actions. Because you still the parent, bitch. You still got control over that all right and you fucking up ain't got shit to do with her dating somebody that you feel is older and then sneaking around dating somebody and not letting you know it's a difference okay i was sitting here like then boy if you don't stop playing where her mama at where's her mama at anyway um moving on from that so they about to have friends thanksgiving um uh, friendsgiving so this is a time to clear the slate Hopefully, everybody can, um, you know, get back together, be cool with one another, and everything was going to go fine, okay? Bella, on the other hand, she had some other plans, bitch, because she done hooked up with SP, which is her ex-boyfriend, one of her first loves or whatever. Bitch, let me tell you something. SP got problems. SP got problems, and I saw myself and SP on one scene, okay? When they were sitting down there at that table, when they first met up again, she said he came down there to the tattoo of convention. He started talking or whatever. You know, we hook up, and every time we hook up, it's like, it's going to be the last time. It's going to be the last time. You know, he ain't getting none of these cookies no more or whatever. And she like, damn it, bitch. I always fall for the trap. You know, first of fucking all, he ain't even that cute no more. He ain't getting none of this shit no more. He can say whatever the fuck it is that he wants to, but uh, I'm stopping it right there. 
And I was like, girl, bitch, who the fuck you fooling? Because you saying all this shit in the confessional. But at the table, you saying your body language and your lips are saying a whole lot more shit. And SP caught on to that shit. She was like, so now you want to come back and you want to do all this shit when I was feeling you. You probably done fucked around and fucked a whole bunch of my friends too. You didn't give a damn about me. Okay, you right. Back then, I didn't give a shit about you. But that don't mean that I, my feelings changed and I don't give a shit about you now. It was like, I ain't finna do this with you. You ain't finna do what? You ain't finna do what? Mm-hmm. Guess you are. You know, I'm just saying. Are you Listen, listen, listen. That move that he pulled when he stood up and he went over there and wrapped his arms around, Ashton and pulled that move a few times. And hook, line, and motherfucking sinker, bitch. Okay? Just about. Just about. So I was sitting here like, damn, do I really be doing that? Because I got someone right. Let me shut up. We gonna move along, okay? Um, cause bitch, all I gotta say is, and they all like, and I'm like, <laughs> anyway, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, okay? Happy Valentine's Day to the lovers. If y'all gonna be lonely and shit, don't even fucking worry about it. You know, bust a nut yourself, okay? And get yourself some flowers afterwards, okay? You can't nobody bust it better than you can either way. I'm just saying. I mean, to each his own. To each his own. Moving on from that. So, she invited him to Friends Thanksgiving. Mind you, we got that drawn on. I said, ooh, how this gonna go? How this gonna go? Then we got this whole situation with Junior, Lily, and Adriana, okay? Junior pissed off because he felt like Lily was bullshitting and he knew that Lily was lying. Now, um, Lily was being a little bit messy when she brought this shit up because yes, last week, y'all was getting alone or whatever. You ain't had to bring that shit up. But, um, whatever. So, she brought this whole thing up. He wanted to, he was trying to avoid her. He want to squash that shit because he going to be up there working. So, what's the point of having all that drama? And she did try to come up there to him. And he really wasn't feeling it. And he was just like, why you lying? Why you lying? Why you lying? Lily really wasn't giving it that type of energy to, you know, go back and forth. You could tell that Junior has already had a little drinky drink up in his system. I said, oh, shit. I can see where this shit going. Now, let me just tell you this. Lily gets on my goddamn nerves. But, but... Throughout this whole thing that happened afterwards, when SP came up into the shop, first of all, they was waiting on Charmaine to bring her ass there with the other rest of the food. But when SP came up in the shop, and when all that shit went down, Lily was sitting against that wall. That would have been me. I was here for it, okay? Bitch, you ain't talking to me. I didn't say nothing to him. It is what it is. Y'all gonna fight this shit out, fight this shit out, just as long as y'all keep that shit over there and let me sit over here and mind my goddamn business, bitch. Okay, that's all that it is. And I said, good job, Lily. Good job. You ain't had to get yourself in there. Now, see, this is where stuff get fucking complicated, all right? Whew. Now, let's calm down because we about to get into it. Okay, Go. SP come in, and he a little hostile already. He was a little, I ain't gonna say hostile, hostile. Yeah, bitch, he was aggressive as fuck. He was aggressive as fuck. Now, even if you didn't know these people, you can clearly tell that they were joking, and they trying to, you know, kid with them or whatever. And you would think, because we kidding, that you wouldn't take it so seriously or whatever. And it was like, homie, we don't even know you. You don't, you, don't, you don't gotta ask her about me. You ain't gotta ask her about me. I'm right here. I'm right here. I said, bitch, calm the fuck down. They making jokes and shit. They kept, they playing with Bella about the fact they ain't never, because you know, according Bella ain't been working with them, but almost a year probably, and they all brothers or whatever. That's her brothers and stuff. Bitch, no, it's gonna take a little bit more time for that, okay, for me. But anyway, he like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, son, I'm just saying, if you want something, you want to know something about me, you ask me, homeboy, you ask me. I'm sitting here like, Ryan whooped his ass. Ryan was like, you know what, if it was me and I had my hair cut short and I wasn't draping, you know what I'm saying, with my spritz and stuff, my, I figured out why my hair be, um, because my hairdresser, he puts spritz and stuff, and it makes my hair, it, it, it kind of make it flake up. I'm going to have to tell him, stop doing that shit. Stop doing that shit. But anyway, um, yeah, put his little spritz, got his wet and wavings going. 
Um, he said, bitch, I'm gonna calm down. I'm not gonna even play into that because no, yo, homeboy, we don't know you. So we just trying to kick it with you or whatever. We just kicking jokes and shit like that. Just calm down. We we in a happy environment right now. His name SP, what the stands for? Side piece or whatever. Okay, he was cool with that, but then when he started asking about, well, you asked me, you ain't gotta ask her. I was like, calm the fuck down. That was strike one. He rubbed me raw the whole way from that. And that's how we knew shit was going to go wrong. Add to the mix. I can't even fucking remember what was being said. But I think they asked Bella, how did they meet and who he was and stuff like that. They sitting on the couch. And next thing you know, Junior said, so your real name, so SP, you your real, uh, so you real, uh, uh, so sad bitch is your real name. They were trying to figure out what the fuck he was saying. And I figured that out. That's what he was saying. Sad bitch is your real name. I said, Junior. Damn. Now, even I know. Even I know that, you know, you don't call no other man no bitch. That's a soft spot for niggas. You know, niggas sensitives and shit like that. But that's fighting words when you don't know nobody. And you just come out of the mouth, call him a bitch and whatever. And you might as well just call him a pussy. You know what I'm saying? Um... Everybody else was calling him sad piece. You came out your mouth and you called him a sad bitch. I said, wait a minute. We, okay, I'll call you a sad bitch if I know you. And we joking like that. Bitch, until then, it's sad piece, okay? His name is SP, not SB, okay? So, why did you call him a sad bitch? And at this point, Junior, you started this part of it. And old boy got a little aggressive. He was like, what you saying? What you saying? He get up and he go over there trying to go to Junior and all that shit. They holding each other back. Next thing you know, Van and them get in the middle and he trying to push him back and trying not to have this shirt big as fuck on me. I'm sorry, y'all. I be looking sloppy sometimes. Who gives a fuck? You know, I just put shit on because it just makes me feel good that I'm losing this weight. But anyway, moving on from that. Um, Van gets in the middle. Okay, Ben gets in the middle and he trying to stop and calm old boy down and he's still reaching trying to get to Junior until he kind of did like that to Van by accident and Van pushed him and I was like, oh shit, y'all finna fight, y'all finna wreck shop and they was like, nah, Van wasn't on that shit. He was just like, no, move back, bitch. Okay, I was like, oh shit, what the fuck is going on? We can't even have Friendsgiving without the fight happening. What's happening, y'all? Okay, too much alcohol up in the place. And at this point, Junior's still talking shit. All right? And they trying to, the security separate them, whatever. And then SP takes it upon himself to try to go after Junior. Okay, Junior over there. You want to go over there to him. Here go either Don or one of them going to say at this point it was self-defense. No, I don't call it self-defense because at this point, Junior started that whole shit when he called him sad bitch. But, I mean, I guess if you want to call it self-defense because he walked over there, I mean, the fight wasn't finished. So how can it really? Okay, but whatever. At this point, I don't know what fucking happened, but they somehow got close enough for Junior to punch the dog shit or whatever. He punched him good enough that his mouth was bleeding and he knocked the grill out. And that motherfucker, I had to rewind it because I said, did I see what I saw? And I did see what I saw and I saw what I saying. Okay. And what I synced was after somebody laid a punch or whatever the fuck happened, security yoked him up. Did, was it just me or did little SP go a little limp a little bit when they pulled him back? <laughs> <laughs> he looked limp for a second like a rag dog. Am I the only one who saw that? Okay, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just sitting here like, did Junior really fuck him up like that? Mm, Junior, what the fuck is wrong with you? Liquid courage, bitch. Um, so when all that happened, they had to tell, put him in the other room, put him in one of the little booths or whatever, trying to hold him back. Adriana is steady talking shit. Steady talking shit. And at this point, I get it. That's your man getting into it with this other one. But let these two men handle this shit. You don't see Bella. Mind you, Bella got pushed and all this shit. She and her feelings because she didn't got pushed and knocked down and all that. I said, well, that was your nigga that did that by accident. So calm the fuck down. But okay. But um, at this point, Adriana is just going in. She's just going in. And I'm just like, let them handle this shit. I was with Lily. I mean, if you're going to say some, say a little stuff and then stay in your place or whatever, don't roll up on no nigga and think that that nigga ain't going to do shit to you, okay? You, at this point, is trying to fucking provoke him to do something to you. Now, if he fuck around and do something to you, now everybody going to be mad at him. 
and forget that you came up into his space. And that is exactly what Adriana did. Lily said, why the fuck you trying to come in some other bitch face, some nigga face? I was here for it, okay? I think they finna get on um, Lily. Is they getting on Lily next week for saying the N-word? Because I really wasn't. Remember when her little um, Mexican friend, the little pug boot that was the plug or whatever, he was on there saying nigga and shit like that, and I went here for it, okay? We get into that next week. But moving on from that, he was on, uh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Junior still talking this mess. Adriana, Junior over there. Adriana goes over there to where, oh boy, SP at. Next thing you know, she's talking all this stuff to him, trying to get into that room with him. And I'm like, what the fuck you finna do, girl? Next thing you know, he spits in her face. I said, oh, First of all, he need his ass whooped for spitting. And not only did he spit, he spit blood on her face. And I said, on the other hand, Adriana, what the fuck did you expect? He couldn't touch your ass, so he spit on your ass and you was antagonizing his ass. Yeah, we could say he needs to be, um, men don't supposed to do this, men don't supposed to do this. But she should have stayed in her motherfucking place, okay? She was begging for that shit to happen, all right? Um... Um, to escalate the whole thing. The shit was could have died down had she not did that. Now, at that moment, Junior found out he was ready to fucking go. Ryan found out. Ryan came up there trying to do some shit. Stepped back, took his shirt off. I said, nigga, wet and wavy, what you about to do? I was like, look at all of this. Let me just tell you something. It did something to me, okay? It did something to me when all the motherfuckers bulked up on that nigga. Okay, I said... A little bird moment happened. I said, oh, and then I heard something crash. I said, what's happening? Don beating down the motherfucking wall, and they got his ass. I said, no, Don. Don't die. Stop it. I was screaming for Ashley. You know what I'm saying? Because my name is Ashley, so I was screaming for her like, no, Don, stop it. Oh, no, Don, stop, stop. Stop it, Don. Stop it. You're going to hurt him. You're going to go to jail. Stop it. But he... Stop! You know, I was like that, okay? And, um, <clears throat> he was just, you know, because when Don get mad, he gets incredible hulk on that ass. And I was just like, they took that nigga out. Next week, they gonna say this motherfucker finna press charges. I said, you sat up in here and you said, you don't know about me. I got your ass. I got your ass. You don't know nothing about me. You don't know who I am, homeboy. You making all these threats like you all somebody. Only to say that you finna call the cops and press charges. Boy, come on, Takashi. <laughs> But anyway, that was, that was, y'all know I enjoyed the episode because look how long this goddamn review is. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this fight. Do you feel like SP deserved what happened? Do you feel like Junior started that whole thing right there by calling him sad bitch? Um, they share the blame if you ask me, okay? Because he came in hostile, but Junior, you ain't have to do that. <laughs> Junior was on another level. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about it and I will see y'all later. Peace.